Here's just a quick idea of a pipe cutter bought in a $2 shop. I haven't actually tried it, but it really looks like it could be a very good variable capacitor or even variable inductor. The basics are very good. It's got a nice vernier effect, around 15 or 16 turns from fully out to fully in. That means it would also double as a reduction drive. If you're making a variable coil, you might have a small piece of pipe around here. Now mounting is fairly easy. As you can see, there's a screw here, so that could easily be undone and the end of the pipe mounted. You could have your coils of wire around that pipe and maybe a small piece of ferrite that would go in and out that would cause the inductance to vary. That should be okay for something like a single band receiver. If you wanted it to be a variable capacitor, you could use a small square of printed circuit board material. There's a nice flat surface here that you could glue it to. And then the capacitance would be against a flat plate of another piece of printed circuit board material that could be mounted in a frame. If you wanted to double the capacitance, you could just have two plates of circuit board material against a U-shaped frame that would provide the increased capacitance. There's a bit of play here, which isn't so good for frequency stability. So what you might do is have a rubber strip or rubber band along here just to hold it still while you're adjusting. That also increases the firmness on the thread, so the tuning action will be somewhat better. As I said, I haven't tried it, but it looks like a really useful start for a variable capacitor or inductor for a simple receiver or transceiver project. If you do give it a go, let me know in the comments below.